Hi everyone, myself Jyoti Prasad from RMD Engineering College. Like we have discussed operational amplifier, uh, non-inverting, inverting amplifier, amplifiers. Now, now we are going to discuss about filters. Filters. So basically we know what is about a filter, which uh, filters the unwanted components and only allows wanted components. Uh, we have seen low pass filter, high pass filter, all those things with respect to filter. Simple R, C combination, we can make a low pass filter, high pass filter. So how can we make filters uh, like same LPF, low pass filter, high pass filter using op amp. So we will have two types of uh, filters, active filters and passive filters. Normally, normally to, uh, using all components of electronics, we have two filters, active filters, passive filters. Like I said, uh, RC filters or LC filters, so those are all called passive filters, passive components. So we did circuit using, if we do circuit with passive components, that is passive filters. And the active filters is made up of with the transistors and op amps. So if I do the, uh, filters using these two components, uh, that is called active filters. So purely we are going to discuss about op amp filter means it is an active filter. So this is a circuit we did in simulation. Uh, and here, how we are going to do mean, first one is low pass filter. So uh, we know regular low pass filter response. So which will allow, see, see this one is high bandwidth, uh, steady bandwidth is there, right? Saturated bandwidth. So nothing but, so the which will allows low pass field low low frequencies which attenuates or which rip, which which won't allow high frequencies nothing but low pass filter this is the low pass filter response here the same uh, com combination of uh, r and c we are using at the inverting non inverting input terminal so but instead of directly giving input to op amp op amp direct instead of directly giving op amp input to op amp we are giving through a rc low pass filter rc low pass filter okay rc combination one rc combination means first order okay so c one r and c c towards ground if we give three through this rc combination then that circuit is called first order low pass filter see here we have taken circuit the same circuit without load resistor we have taken so V2, we have connected to ground through R1 resistor and RF feedback resistor is there between output and inverting terminal. At non-inverting terminal, we are giving input, actual input, sinusoidal waveform or some uh, uh, waveforms. So through resistance R, C, so through this one. So this is called low pass filter. So the response of this particular circuit will be this one, the, the middle one, what we have shown the number two. Okay. So we can we can so call it as first order low pass filter. See what 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 about the high pass filter? High pass filter means we are going to, to give the input through one capacitor and resistor combination. So high pass filter high pass nothing but capacitor will be at this position high position, and towards resistor will be towards ground. So that particular C R com combination we are going to use through that R C combination of high pass filter we are going to give the input to non-inverting terminal of op amp. So then what will be the response? It will, uh, it will attenuate low frequencies, allow high frequencies. Like we have marked three, third waveform is a waveform for high pass filter response. The output response will be such a way that it don't allow low frequencies. It will uh, allows only high frequencies. The third type of thing, this is obviously a first order high pass filter. The third type is wide band filters. Wide band filters means the first stage we will have high pass filter. The second stage we will have low pass filter. If you use both the things in a cascading manner, the first order high pass filter in the first stage. In the second stage we are using the first order low pass filter. Then we will have both these two high pass low pass together becoming as a this, this bell shape. Bell shape. So here if we take the 3 dB bandwidth from the top. So, so that will be the bandwidth of this particular filter. So this is the response of a band pass filter. So we we, we also have sub uh, narrow band pass filter also. So if we change the values, we will get narrow band pass filter. So it is a response of wide band pass filter. So this is also first order. Why? Because I am taking first order high, P, high pass filter, first order low pass filter and making cascading and becoming the first order wide band pass filter. Okay, so we can also do narrow band pass filter using this particular circuit. The response will be very narrow. The, the, the bandwidth will be very narrow like we have seen.
so it will decrease to this this much that is narrow band pass filter second order how how we will get the second order low pass filter like i said two rc combinations has been joined cascading at the input of a non inverting terminal see the first combination highlighted in red box rc after that rc so to improve the response only so in many of the uh, our practical circuits in the in the uh, prototype kits we have seen that output if you want to smoothen the output waveform we will give for first first order low pass filter if furtherly if i want to smooth on the output i will give to the second order filter by cascading similar way the first one we are using cascading with the second filter so two filters we are using in cascade at the input of the non inverting terminal through that two low pass filters we are giving the input sinusoidal waveform to the plus terminal non inverting terminal so that type of arrangement is called second order low pass filter so which will have improved response improved response so the first graph is the output response for the second order low pass filter so this is a frequency response so the pass band can be improved so if we if we see first order low pass filter the the decay the roll off rate how much if you see uh, minus 20 db per decade if i use two filters second order two filters at the input second order the second figure so it will carries 40 db per decade that means if you see this blue line it will have the first low pass filter the first order low pass filter we have minus 20 db per decade if you see this red line graph minus 40 db it means the sharp response will be there so it will reach the zero very quick i mean it will have sharp response the slope will be high so we can also see a second order low high pass filter here so two rc combination of high pass filters have been cascaded and given to after the passing through that two low pass filters the input is given to non inverting terminal which will have sharp responses so likewise we will have 40 we will have plus 20 db this is increment plus 20 db per decade so we will have if you second order we will have plus 40 db per decade increment sharp responses will be there so similarly we can use second order band pass filter so we have seen wide band pass filter earlier so that two sections we cascade the two sections means what the first section is high pass filter of second order see this one high pass filter of second order the second section is the low pass filter of second order so second order high pass filter followed by second order high pa uh, low pass filter gives a band pass filter wide band pass filter so like this we can see the response so this so, so this is the first order the bottom one is the second order so uh, i am going to summarize the four graphs for uh, low pass filter responses of low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter so the other one is band stop filter bs band stop filter means a particular range of frequencies it will stop and it will allows uh, other, all other frequencies thank you